Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on the Shark Carpet Expert Stain Striker. This is an upright carpet cleaner. We're first going to talk about it, then we're actually going to go clean some stains with it. So here's the dirty water tank, very easy to empty. You're going to open this up and empty it out. We also have two solution tanks. Now the first solution tank's a little bit smaller and it's blue. So we're going to take it out and fill it up with solution. It takes the Shark Oxy Multiplier. Now, you'll see on the top, it says, do not dilute. So we're going to put this bottle full strength in this container. So around the side, there is a max fill line. Again, this is full strength. You're not going to dilute this at all. Okay, so the maximum line is 16 ounces. This entire bottle fits in there. And it's got this cap. You're going to screw the cap on. Then we're going to reinstall this. Now we're going to get the other solution tank. It's got a big handle. We're going to pull up. So this is a bigger solution tank. It takes the other. This is the deep clean solution. This one says you're going to dilute it. So we're going to put water in here and then the solution. Now there is a note on here to make sure that you don't put the OxyClean in here. So here's the water line. We're going to fill it up to the water line and then from the water line up to there we're going to put concentrate in. But we can put hot tap water in here. We can put, as long as you don't go above 140 degrees. Okay, I got it filled up to the water line with just tap water. Now I'm going to put the solution in there. It's kind of an orange color or yellow color. And I'm going to fill it from the water line to the concentrate line. Then you're simply going to put the cap on. Okay, so up here, this is where we're going to put the solution tank in. It just slides right like that. So let's take a look at the brush that's going to do the carpet cleaning. There's an easy door here. You're going to open this up, pull that. This comes off, this is for easy cleaning, but we can also, there's two arrows here. You wanna lift right here at the same time. Now this is on a hinge, but we can take, we can take this roller out. There's a, just grab it right here. There's like a gear. And so there's where the, you can take this roller out, get this nice and clean. These are like stiff bristles. Now I like that I'm able to clean this, but you cannot take this off. There's like these hinge pins. So it's only meant for hinging. Looks like the solution is going to come out here, but it's going to go into here and come out down here. All right, let's, it's very simple to put back together. Just simply put it there, push that down, rotate this, and then you're simply going to put these ears in, rotate this, and that should click in. Here's what the bottom of it looks like. So this kind of rotates back and forth like a micro switch. So in here it does say it's 120 volts, 60 hertz, 8 amps. Okay, let's talk about this hose now. Now you're gonna you're gonna connect the hose right here, but you're you've got this lever over here. When it's up like this, you're using the brush, and this is for carpet cleaning. When we move this lever, now in order to move the lever, you do have to get the hose out of the way. So we do have to lift this off. And there's these little grooves that it sits in. So lift it off. Now we can move this lever. When we move this lever, it'll kind of go in the down position. Now we can use the hose. So the suction and the solution are going to be directed at the hose. When the lever is up, the suction and the solution are going to be directed down here. Now up here we can store one of the tools. It just slides on. This is the hose cleaning tool. So when we have the lever down and we're using the wand, when I spray this, we're going to get solution come out here and we'll have suction here. Now this also has a bristle. This is like a crevice tool. It works really good. But we can just slide on this tool here. Again, when I spray, when I pull the trigger, it's going to come out here. we got bristles here and suction. I can take this apart for easy cleaning. Now when I'm all done, I can take this off. Now I'm going to slide this on. This is the hose cleaning tool. Press the button and solution will be directed down the hose. So this model comes with a pet mess. You can put this on the end of the hose. And when you clean up your pet mess, if you got a really bad like stain or something, it's going to bring, it's going to put it in here instead of sending all the pet mess down the entire hose. And then you can just take this off, get rid of the really bad mess. There's a little filter in here. So this is a really nice attachment that works really well. So up here we have the handle. There's no controls on the handle. All the controls are right here with these two buttons. Now I like that they give us the sticker here that shows us what the modes are. So when you turn it on, the two green lights are going to flash at you because you don't have it kicked over center. But as soon as you kick it over center, then it will start working properly. So I'm going to show you. Turn it on. See how the green lights are flashing? But as soon as I kick it over, 
then it goes into deep clean mode and I can go to quick dry mode and I can turn it off. So the machine knows whether you have the handle stored or if you have it uh, released. So don't think something's wrong if both green lights are flashing. It'll start working as soon as you kick the handle over center. Now as soon as I turn this handle, so I'm going to turn this handle down. Now I have the unit stored. That's the proper location. Now when I turn it on, the green lights are steady and I'm using the hose. I can't change the mode when I've got that handle down. Now anytime you turn it off, it doesn't turn off right away. There is a little bit of suction. It kind of cleans out the hoses or cleans out the down there. It's going to have suction for a little bit and then it turns off. So we have three modes of operation. When the handle is up, we can do deep clean, which that means there's solution coming out and suction. And that's when the LED is right here. When the LED is on the right, that's dry only. So there will not be any solution coming out and it's going to have suction only. Now when we do the hand tool, it's suction and um, it's going to be suction and solution at the same time. But I only get solution when I press the trigger. Okay, so I got some ketchup, Hershey syrup, and some grape jelly on this carpet. Let's see how the Shark Carpet Expert Stain Striker does. So I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to kick it over. I've got it in deep clean mode. Now it's putting the solution down automatically. I'm not pulling a trigger. I've got it in deep clean mode. Okay. Wow, it's very lightweight to pull back and forth on the carpet. Let's go over the jelly. Jelly's taking a few more. Well, it's doing a good job. Let's go over the chocolate. Wow, it does a good job. Okay, let's go to quick dry only. Now it's not going to put solution down. It's only drying. We only have suction. Okay, so it did a really good job on those stains. I might have to go over the ketchup one a little bit more. You know, the carpet's a little damp, but not too bad. Let's talk about solution. So it does not use as much of this solution as it does this one. This is the one it uses the most of. And the mixing is done internally when it comes out. So now if I was done, I could grab that dirty water. I'm just gonna pull this down. I could take this over and empty that out. Okay, now let's use the wand. I've got it undone here. I'm gonna move the lever down. Now I can use the, I'm gonna use the crevice tool for just a second, then I'm gonna put the other one on. Okay, so I put a chocolate stain back on the carpet. Now I've got the handle stowed. I'm gonna turn it on. Both green lights are on. Okay, now when I press the trigger, I'll get solution to come out. And I've got suction the whole time. I can put this on. Again, spray. Good suction. Okay, now let's use the hose clean tool. We're gonna to take the attachment off, slide this on like this, turn it back on, press the solution, and solution's gonna be directed down the hose. Then I like to take this off and let it air dry. Okay, so now we're gonna use the pet mess tool. I've got this really bad mess here. I don't want the whole mess to go down the hose, so it's gonna stay right in here. We're simply going to attach it, turn it on, spray our solution. I, do, I can scrub with this and I've got good suction.
I'm going to spray some more. And I'm going to scrub. Now we can see that pet mess stayed right here. And all I got to do is take this off and I can go clean that separately. Okay, so the dirty water tank, let's go empty it out. Very simple. Okay, you got a grip right here and you're gonna pull this up. There's a float and everything in here. Now you're just gonna dump this out. And I like that we can rinse all of this out really good. Now there is this little extra filter here. You put, uh, pull these gray tabs in and then you can pull that out. So here's this filter. You are supposed to um, take this out, rinse this out really good and then dry it really good and then put it back in. And make sure the float is down and then it should snap right back in. Okay, so now I'm done cleaning with it. I wanna play around with it. I want, there's some things we can take apart. Now, if you get obstructions, you can take this handle out. You're supposed to take this off, this comes off, and then this, you're supposed to undo the hose first then rotate this forward and it comes out. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I could see where you may get some obstruction there or something, but there's what it looks like on in there. Yeah, back here you can see all the way through down in there. Okay, let's put it back in. Yeah, I guess it just goes back in. Rotate it, then it comes out. Okay, so I was really curious about this, this right here. This is a micro switch. And when we drag the unit backwards, solution doesn't come out. But when we're going forward, solution comes out, which I'm gonna show you that here. Okay, so we're gonna demonstrate this on this linoleum here. Now the brush roller turns going forward and back, but we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna turn it on deep clean. Now, when she pulls it back, it's gonna, not put solution down. When she goes forward, there's going to be solution go down. Okay. Okay, it's a little hard to tell, but this there is a little bit of solution that came down, but it is relatively dry. And you're going to notice a big difference when we go forward now see it did put a little solution down but when we go forward it puts a lot of solution down okay we're going forward now and it's putting down a lot a lot of solution okay we can see going forward puts down a lot of solution you know that's why that's the automatic feature going forward no solution when you pull back uh, and going forward you have solution going back you have no solution okay so let's just talk about a few more things now normally this filter doesn't get wet now i rinsed it out that time and it got wet so and again if you do you just have to dry it really good and you can just grab that filter you don't have to take these tabs out just for deeper cleaning i guess now again the manual does say that this does not use as much solution the oxy multiplier does not get used as much as this does. Now there was a couple things that I didn't like about it. Um, so when you're filling this up, I had a problem. So and it's easy to avoid, but when you're filling this up, water came around here, it fills this handle up. And then when I go to put it in, I thought I had a leak or a crack. There was so much water in this handle when I went to put it in, it kind of just got all over. So just kind of, if you're not messy putting the water in, you're not going to have to worry about that. The next little thing is, so if, say you're using the hose and you've got this in the hose position. You turn it on, you use it for a while. Now, when you go back to this position, you will get some water that comes out. And it, it's actually quite a bit. You'll get kind of this, it pressurizes this hose with a bunch of liquid. And the liquid, when you push this forward, it will kind of go, yeah, you can see I've got a bunch of liquid out now. Now, I think one way to eliminate it, eliminate that is, is to pull this trigger with it off and maybe that'll release the pressure out of the hose and it won't come out. 
So I just finished up the video with the Shark Stain Striker, the portable spot cleaner. Um, it did really good. I'm really happy with it. Now it used a little bit more of this. They call this the Oxy Multiplier. I would have thought this would have used a little bit more. Maybe I didn't have it on all the way. I mean, I kind of had it on like that, but maybe I needed to press it down a little bit more. Now this Upright Shark Stain uh, Striker Carpet Expert, this Upright Cleaner retails for $300. Now I'm also going to be re reviewing their other carpet cleaner. It's just the Shark Expert. It doesn't have the Stain Striker. It's a little bit cheaper. And I'm also going to be reviewing the Shark Detect Pro. It's, um, it's got an auto empty bin. I'm pretty excited about that one. So Shark is going to have to do a little infrastructure. They're going to have to start stocking this Oxy Multiplier and this Deep Clean at, at lots of locations because they're, that's what they're wanting you to use in this machine. And right now, I don't necessarily see it everywhere, but I assume it's going to be a Walmart, Kmart, and Target. Well, there's no Kmart, but it could be Target. And I'm sure it'll show up on Amazon eventually. But So they are going to have to start producing a bunch of this. Now, again, this carpet cleaner is automatic with the uh, putting down the solution. There is no solution trigger. You know, I was the having the hose on board all the time, I think, is a really nice feature. Sometimes it doesn't want to stick. You know, you do have to definitely make sure it's stowed so when you're using it doesn't come undone i kind of had to take this off and twist it so that it would stay against the machine one time you know moving the handle that's kind of a neat feature i've never really seen that you know it is reasonably lightweight it's there's a lot of plastic on it it seems pretty well made again i haven't used this for a super long time but it definitely cleans carpet really well underneath the video if you could give it a thumbs up i really do appreciate it i will put a link to this i did see it on amazon it's also at the shark uh, clean website so I'm an affiliate at Shark Clean and at Amazon. If you end up clicking on the link, the product won't cost you anymore, but I get a commission from the sale. I bought this product with my own money and I was not paid for this video. So clicking on those links is a way of helping support my channel. Also be sure and check out my Just A Dad videos group on Facebook. This is where I'll be doing my free giveaways. I'll be giving away carpet cleaners that I've, that I've used in my videos, coffee makers. It's also where I'm gonna be showing my, documenting my coffee journey, so I am, uh, branding my own coffee beans and coffee we're gonna this is just a bag and i got my sticker on it but we're working on a bag design right now so be sure i, I got some videos that'll be coming out with that it's also going to come on in a k-cup also again really appreciate everybody's support if you could please like and subscribe and thanks for watching